Hi everyone, it's Jean here. I am co-founder of the Janitorial Store and Clean Smart University. And I was in Clean Smart University recently because we get a lot of questions from cleaning business owners about background checks. So I wanted to see what kind of videos we had on background checks. So I just did a search here for background checks. And you can see some suggestions come up there. And we have a total of eight courses right now on background checks. And you can see there's um, videos on handling references, on credit checks, if they're legal or not. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go into this one on background checks because this is a pretty comprehensive video on background checks. Have you hired any criminals, liars, or cheats lately? And what happens when you do? As you probably found out, you have increased turnover, you have increased training cost, you have a less productive workforce, you have on-the-job conflicts, workers' comp rates go up, and all of this, let's be honest, costs you money and hurts the reputation of your company. These are things that can be avoided if you do background checks. Some employers like to know a person's work history, education, criminal record, financial history, or even in today's world, their social media history. Think about it this way. Your competitors are also looking for employees and they're probably screening their applicants. So if they are and you're not, then you're going to end up hiring their rejects. Checking backgrounds guarantees that over time you are hiring a better workforce. Wow, do you want to hire the rejects? <laughs> I certainly don't. So this video goes on for another six minutes or so and it gives some really great information about all the ins and outs of doing background checks because believe me, these days there's so many legalities when it comes to background checks. Depending on where you're located, um, there are federal laws, there are state laws. Can you do a credit check on a cleaning technician? Probably not, but can you do one on a bookkeeper? Yes, you can. So there's all these kinds of ins and outs of what kind of checks you can do on people. You don't want to just be asking someone, what do I need to do for background checks? I see people asking this question in forums all the time. They ask us this question all the time. You want to have, be informed and you want to make sure you're making the right decisions on how you're doing your background checks. So this is some really great information. There is a handout with this video. There's also a quiz. So you can just click on take the quiz and the quiz pops up and it's got several questions. So if you and maybe your bookkeeper is handling background checks for you, this would be a great video to share and do the test together. Um, the handout that comes with this I'll just pull up the PDF quick here. There's some really great notes in this. You can watch the video, take notes, and they've got a lot of ins and outs of the right ways to do background checks, how you need to conduct them, how you need to be consistent across the board, especially if you've got more than one location, that's gonna be really important as well. Um, so here's some really great notes on background checks. Really interesting video and a lot to learn about background checks. There's a few tidbits that I didn't know about, so I really recommend it. So if you're interested in getting these types of videos, simply join us at the janitorial store and look for the premium membership option. And that's where you get access to Clean Smart University with over 8,000 training videos for you and your staff. Thanks, and we'll see you at the janitorial store.